G'day Worm Wranglers, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden. Look, ants are taking over this worm farm. My baby cocoon hatchery. They've already hatched, they're one month old. And uh, they're moving in. Now, this issue is pretty unique, so keep on watching and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna try and solve this problem. But, if you've got ants in your worm farm, what I recommend you do is you also check out this other video in the link in the card available to you above and also down in the description. And it shows you another really cool way of keeping ants out of your worm farm. And that was filmed oh, a couple of years ago at my friend Waz's house. Now, this one, is a whole different type of thing going on. We have carpenter ants in here, a little tiny ant that gets into your brickwork, gets into the side of your timber and your houses and things like that, loves little dry edges and stuff, and a food source around. Now this worm farm isn't on the ground. So what they've done is they've nested in here because they found a food source in those, like I said, those little grooves and dry spots where they love to nest. Now I think the carpenter ant is like, uh, they battle with white ants, I believe, here in Australia. And sometimes you've got a carpenter ant in your house and you've got white ants, it's maybe a good thing, but not inside a worm farm like this, right? We just don't want them in here. So keep on watching and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to get rid of these things and hopefully keep them out for good. So what do ants hate the most? I'd have to say it's water. They absolutely despise the stuff. Why? Because anywhere there is water, they cannot build a nest and repopulate. So the answer here is to flood the farm and find the nest. Oh, there it is in the corner, right where I knew it was in a dry tray that I'd left inside the worm farm. Look at that, thousands of eggs, and they're just going mental. I'm getting all over my hands. And oh, they didn't like being disturbed, but hey, don't mess with my worms, that's what I say. So after flooding the initial tray, the next thing is to sort of wash away all these eggs and ants using dechlorinated water. Well, I don't think it really matters the dechlorinated water or not. Just need to get rid of all those eggs and then decide on the next step what to do. And look how many ants and eggs are around in this farm because that's gonna make a huge difference. I need to eliminate as many as possible. I decided to go in just a bit more hardcore and hit them with the hose. You know, man, I don't want any ants left in here. They'll just flush out through the hole. Sorry ants, but what else can I do? You're in my <laughs> farm. You need to find another place to live. What I've decided to do is put this single tray that's got all the food and bedding in it out in the sun. Carpenter ants hate the light. Raise it off the ground. No worms will go down and come out because of the light. They'll just go into the dark spots inside the farm. The other tray that comes with this farm, that's where they were hiding in between all those gaps and that's where they were laying their eggs. I've seen that inside my shed and things like that in other trays and stuff around gardening. So, that's gonna stay out of the farm. This will just stay outside for an hour or so. I'll put it back into the farm. It's all being wet down and I'll keep this bedding really wet because there's still some ants in here and I'll just soak it down. So I need to make up some more water out of the tap and let it sit for about 24 hours before I can re-soak it and do it one more time. And then I think I've pretty much solved the solution. But anyway, if you've got any tips and tricks to keep my ants out of your worm farm, or you've had an ant invasion just like I did, these are on my baby worms, super special. They're laying lots of eggs in here, as you saw in the video. Those ants, we don't want them breeding up, right? So stay tuned for the rest of the show, and uh, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye for now. Whew.